Good morning, good morning. Look at that. I call my birthday on the clock. It's August the 27th, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. Y'all. <laughs> I don't know what it is, y'all, but it definitely feels different not being at my apartment. It definitely really does feel different not being in my apartment. I actually kind of feel like... I'm trying to figure out how to say this. Okay, let me first just say thank you guys for stopping by my channel. Thank y'all for supporting me all the time. You guys have really came and showed up for me on my videos, just on my channel in general. My name is Dominique. My YouTube name is She is Flawless. I really do appreciate the engagement that you guys do in the comment section as well. I appreciate you guys like, commenting, and subscribing. I appreciate you guys. Girl, tell your friends to tell their friends so that we all can be friends, okay? So... I'm saying all of that to say, and I came on here this morning because, like I say, today is August the 27th, y'all. Um, I've been down here since last Friday. Was it last Friday? No, it's probably been some Fridays. Now, I've been down here since August the 16th, y'all. And I'm saying that to say, like, I really do miss being at home you know in my own apartment well it's not really like my home no more because yeah I'm, I'm no longer staying there but I don't know if it's because it's the place that we living in or whatever y'all but I feel like I'm a visitor I feel like I'm temporarily just here at this place just visiting or just coming to visit my husband and just the expectation of just not knowing that I'm going back home after I'm visiting for a few weeks it just kind of really got my stomach in a knot I don't know like that is a really weird feeling because I know that the day is not coming where I'm gonna be able to be like okay baby I'll see you later I'm about to get ready to go back home you know like this is my current home right now and it just feels so weird to me like I feel like I'm all out of loop I'm all out of my routine I'm all out of my element y'all like I don't feel like Mm, I don't feel like I'm comfortable. I don't. You know, we got roaches up in here, y'all. So it's very limited things that I, I want to do around here and everything like that. I can say for the most part, though, we, we have noticed that the roaches have been dying off or whatever. Because you can tell the bigger roaches, they're starting to move slower. Their bodies are starting to look a little bit more deformed and everything. So they're going away. But just the fact to know that, you know, it's still not the best. I went from my luxury apartment to the trap house now. And... Yeah, I don't know. Like, I like to take baths and stuff, y'all. The bathroom is just not... Like, I just get in there and do what I got to do and get up out of there, y'all. It's like I haven't even been putting y'all up to have our little bathroom chats and stuff when I'm up washing my face. Like, I have no drive to even do content here because I'm not comfortable. It's just not comfortable here for me. I don't know. I feel like a visitor, y'all. And I really don't want to, like, complain too much about it. Because, like I say, I'm just grateful that my husband even, you know, this is his place that he had got. You know, that what he could afford him and my son when we left. You know, he never went and found, like, a place and everything, like, on his own. Well, he did have a place way back when we first started dating. He had a place. But, like, to go out and be, like, doing this type of stuff on his own. So, he basically pretty much just grabbed the first thing that approves him and gave him a place to stay so that he can get out of his sister's home when I left. So, granted, I understand all that. This has been working for them. The rent is cheap here and everything. But I can't stay here. We got to go, y'all. We got to go. We got to go. But anywho, y'all, I'm coming on here to tell y'all also that I had worked Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So that was the 23rd, the day after my birthday, I worked. I worked the 24th and then got ready to go in to work on Saturday. I mean, on Sunday night, um, only to find out that my shift had got canceled. Okay, so then last night I was preparing to go to work. I got in the shower and everything only to get out the shower to see that my shift was my lips feel so crusty and chapped child. How about I haven't even washed my damn face yet and brushed my teeth. My husband had left and went to work a little later today. And then my son, um, he just had came. He had just came here and everything, too. I hope y'all can see me. It looked like I had the angle all down and stuff. So, I hope I'm in frame. 
But um, I'm saying like I got canceled from both of my shifts Saturday. I mean Sunday and Monday. So I didn't work last night. Which is fine because I told y'all we had an unexpected situation happen in the family. So I really want to just make sure that I'm being here for my husband and everything like that. Because he's not really doing too good. He seemed to okay this morning and kind of in good little spirits. But yeah. So um, I got paid today uh, from the two jobs that I worked Friday and Saturday. It wasn't really much what I was expecting if I would have worked it all the four days. Um, I had a ticket that I needed to pay because I was speeding, as they say. So I needed to pay that ticket because today was the last day to pay the ticket. And I had made the arrangement already to pay the ticket today. So I went on ahead and paid that. Um, I gave my husband a few dollars and everything like that. You know, just because we stretching it right now, making it. You know, we even moved and funds has been expunged and everything so we just just trying to make it or whatever you know like i just really need to work tonight is tuesday i do work at the place that i went and got the job for so i work there tonight tomorrow night and thursday night so i was thinking and telling my husband today like the plan to hurry up and like get the money to turn over is the days that I do work, the three days that I do work there because I'm part time. I'm just going to probably go ahead and hit the doubles. So if I can just do three 16 hour shifts each week, you know, because they get paid uh, bi weekly. Oh, I ain't got paid bi weekly and I don't know how long. <laughs> But so they get paid by weekly. So I'm, I'm, you know, doing the calculations and stuff in my head saying that, you know, if I go ahead and work three 16 hour shifts that's 48 hours in the week and then if i pick up an extra day just kind of like an eight hour shift i can get the overtime and the time and a half real quick and then that will work out for me because i think they say they get paid over there like every other friday which will be good you know so i'm gonna definitely just try to see how we can get the money to roll over real quick so that way we can have a little leeway to like focus on other things just knowing that everything is taken care of and, and our bank accounts and everything are back the way they need to be um, another thing that I wanted to come on here and tell y'all about is, so my oldest son, well, my 20 year old, he's not my oldest, but he's my middle oldest son. Well, and then I have a 26 year old. So then my 20 year old, but my 20 year old is here. Um, he just left. He's getting ready to go to him a job interview. And he came and took my husband to work this morning because my husband left the car for me because again, my baby is still not registered in school. I've been calling and calling and calling this dang on school last week. They gave the wrong email on Friday because I need to send out his birth certificate. That's the only thing that we need. So when he wake up, we're going to get dressed and we're going to go out today. We're going to go to that dang on school so I can give them that birth certificate because today is already Tuesday. My baby needs to be in school. School would have actually started for him on the 22nd. So today is the 20 the 27th or you know the 27th so he needs to be up in school i need to get him up in school you know so i'm gonna definitely go out and do that today um i'm gonna see if he want to grab something to eat maybe we can go by the waffle house or something like that i've been craving the waffle house lately so maybe we'll go and do that um my husband and i we still don't have the kitchen together we went out and bought some items to get the kitchen together but time just ain't been on our side we just ain't had time to do it my husband comes home from work and he's tired and then i was just working the days that my husband was off so yeah it just it didn't we didn't have time for that i am going to get in there today though and try to figure out like the dishes situation like to either put the dishes in the dishwasher and put them away or just try to wash them because it is a few dishes that piled up and i'm just tired of looking at them right then it just kind of seems like if i don't do anything about them the shits is just gonna fucking sit there excuse my language but yeah that's how i feel the shit is gonna fucking sit there so um I'm going to just try to get that situated. But for the most part, we just need to wipe the wall down in the kitchen like we did in the living room. I have bought the little handle, little sponge things and everything like that. So wipe the walls in the kitchen as well like we did the living room. And then just to like a few more touches, I do need to go get some totes because the stuff that I need to take back to the storage unit, it's been sitting in boxes. And y'all know roaches love boxes. So before I even take the stuff to the storage unit, I want to get some boxes, like some totes. And I want to transfer the stuff from the boxes into the totes and then take it to the storage unit because I don't want no damn roaches in my storage unit either. You already got to worry about other people's shit up in there. And if they shit going to crawl up in your shit. So I don't want to, you know, have no extra shit crawling no damn well. <laughs> okay. So that's that. And then um, what else did I need? I work tonight. I, I need to call there and find out if the night shift starts at 10 or 11 o'clock at night. I can't remember what she told me, but I'm going to send her a text message and see what time I need to be there tonight. 
and everything like that so that's just it you guys i just kind of wanted to come on and give you guys an update um i did drop a vlog yesterday you guys should go check out that vlog it dropped august the 26th it's the vlog of miss sugar i don't know if y'all on tiktok and y'all follow miss sugar but she be baking all the sweet treats and stuff she be playing her music groove and you know what i'm saying so miss sugar had blessed us on um august the 15th while we was on the road she was doing thankful thursdays y'all so y'all have to go and check out that video because i ain't gonna sit here and tell y'all about it go watch my video go like it go comment leave me a purple heart and let me know y'all watch that video okay but yeah go check that video out and then i have another video that's gonna drop tomorrow it's gonna be actually um the video where i'm starting to do like the luxury apartment to the trap house that's going to be like the little series that i'll be doing i really do want to just kind of put the tripod up and just go in there and tackle the kitchen and just bring y'all with me and just kind of just let y'all see because this is my journey you know um i was embarrassed about it at first but it's just like yeah this is what it is right now i do feel that night in my stomach just kind of feeling like i'm somewhere visiting and i'm all out of my element but yeah i'm gonna have to get out of that phase but it just feels like that it feels like i'm just a guest it feels like i I don't know. I'm just not comfortable. And I felt like I just be wanting to be right up in this room because the room is clean. You know, I cleaned it up real good. I don't be seeing no roaches up in here. Like, my husband will see a roach from time to time, but, baby, he gets up on that motherfucker and he, he kills it or whatever. I was leaving out the room um, earlier this morning to pack my husband his lunch, and I got ready to turn that corner. Boy, it was a little big, deformed-ass roach right there. I was like, oh, and I just picked my shoe up and got him. I killed him real quick because I didn't know where the roach spray was at that moment, and I did not want that roach to get away or whatever. So that's just that, y'all. Um, we got roaches. We do. We got roaches, and we definitely trying to get them under control, but I hope it's sooner than later. If we can just go ahead and get this money flowing in because I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. I don't, I'm not comfortable here. Even my baby, he ain't even comfortable here. My baby, he don't even be wanting to get in the shower. Go. Nothing. My baby be sitting in one spot, baby. He still roach. He be like, oh my God. Like, yeah. But we blessed. We blessed. We're not going to complain. We're going to keep going. God is leading us in the right direction. Everything is happening in divine order. And I'm just trying to just keep being mindful and keep on telling myself that, you guys. And it's been so busy, y'all. And I can't even blame it on being so busy because I could make time for the Lord. But I have been still praying. But I have not been in my Bible and journaling like I, I used to do a couple of weeks ago, you know. So I really want to get back into that as well. So I need to put some time aside to go ahead and dive back into my journal and into my bible because yeah i just need to right now to kind of get my spirits together because i'm having mixed emotions about this whole thing y'all i'm having mixed emotions about it and i'm just trying not to be the one that's complaining to my husband because he already has so much on him he already is doing so much and i don't want to just keep complaining about it so i keep trying to be positive about it and stuff especially since we just found out this news i just don't want to be an extra burden on him with all of that that we're, we have going on you know to come up and once i get a little comfortable and once my husband is feeling a little better i'll go ahead and disclose that information with y'all and kind of talk about it and let y'all know what happened on august the 25th but in the meantime in between time y'all just keep on rocking with flawless you know hopefully you guys are enjoying my vlogs thus far i really do appreciate all the support like i said we hit that 1k on my birthday that was so amazing that was such an amazing feeling i still need to go out and buy my 1k balloon still just ain't had time to even do that girl okay because if i would have known sunday and monday i wasn't gonna be working baby maybe i wouldn't in my spirit been feeling so tired and i would have got up and went outside and did what i needed to do but because you know you in your mind mentally you'd be like okay i gotta work i'm gonna try to get all the rest i can get yeah and then only to wake up and shower and get ready to get yourself together to turn on the app to see that the damn shift is not even there anymore like come on now so i'm really grateful that i did get this job part time so that way i can probably just run it up there and then just kind of do agency if they pick up a shift with me just here and there you know so that's that you guys i don't want to ramble off to you guys if we go outside well we will be going outside here shortly when my son wake up it's about eight something in the morning right now let me see it's eight thirty six in the morning so once my baby get up and once the school you know morning flow start to slow down we're going to definitely go to the school this morning so i'll definitely bring you guys with me and then whatever else we end up doing i'll definitely bring you guys along with me as well so please do not forget to like comment and subscribe and girl tell your friends to tell their friends so that we all can be friends i will see y'all in the next clip 
Okay, you guys, welcome back to my channel, y'all. I have gotten myself up and everything. I am dressed for the day. I just proceeded to do a short, so we'll see how that works out and how that goes. Um, I am in the process of just kind of oiling my hair, putting a scarf on it right now. So I just took the scarf off, just hoping that it lays right. It's so hot outside. There's a heat advisory today. I don't know why this always look crooked once I start to put y'all up here on here. But um, I have these glasses that I got from Shein a few years ago when I went off to Miami. I just have this pink outfit on here with the pink shirt and the orange shorts. I also have on these little comfy um, shoes right here. I got these shoes from Shein a while ago. Never even worn them, y'all. So I pulled them out because, baby, the toes is not done. And so this is what she needs to put on her feet. Something that her feet is like close in or whatever, y'all. So cute little outfit. Got my TikTok purse on. You know what I'm saying? I love my little TikTok little items and everything like that. Pandora bracelets on. Apple watch on. And then my chain here with the D on it. It's from Cage Jewelry. So, yeah, we're going to get ready to leave out, you guys. We are about to get ready to go grab us something to eat first. I am wondering where we're going to eat, but I just kind of want to know which direction I'm going to go when I get ready to pull off. That's what I'm basically trying to find out because um, I want to kind of make sure that I'm going in the vicinity that I need to be traveling to go in. I'm going to turn off these lights real quick, y'all. But um, I really want to go to Waffle House. I really do. So, we'll see. Um... I'm just turning off everything and we're going to go up to the school. Am I in frame? Okay, because I'll be noticing that it'd be like cutting me off and stuff because I'd be holding it like that or holding it too far up. So if I hold y'all right here at arm's length, it seems like that's perfect. So yeah, we're going to get ready to leave out. Thank you guys um, for joining my channel, you guys. Today is August the 27th today. I just messaged one of the girls that I was in orientation with to ask her for sure before I had messaged the scheduler to just kind of make sure what time I actually need to be at work tonight. So the girl did say 11 o'clock. So I'm guessing that the shift is from 11 to 7, which is fine. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'll be able to come back in and take me a quick little nap. And I do have the car, so I'll have to go pick up my husband when he gets off of work so yeah we're gonna go outside let's 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 go outside it's not that I don't want you here it's something about the way you stay Okay, y'all, I was getting ready to start the vlog, but then my husband called because, yes, it is 12 o'clock, and y'all know he be calling me on his breaks. Chanel, am I in the frame or am I cut off? In the frame? Okay. So, um, he just called, and he on his lunch break or whatever, so I had to tell him that me and Chanel, um, we at Waffle House right now. So, we are about to get us something to eat real quick, y'all, and then we'll head to the school in a minute. I'll come back to you guys and let y'all know um, where we end up at next. So, please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And, girl, tell your friends to tell their friends so that we all can be friends. And I'll see you guys in the next clip, okay? Bye. Like damn, she and her move. Like damn, she and her move. Like damn, she and her move.
like damn, she in her mood. She lit, your money too. Like damn, she in her mood. You know, the Bible says, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. That means I can't even die. You know, I can't even get away from a blessing because he's pursuing. His love continues to pursue. Yeah, this kid is acting crazy. Talk about why he got to come to the school. So you is the one that's getting enrolled. Press the button. This kid is crazy. Okay, y'all, we is leaving the school right now. Y'all. The lady was so nice and so sweet, and I have been trying to get a hold of her, y'all, to actually get here today to the school and actually meet her. She was so, so sweet, and she loved my baby girl. She's talking about, he's so handsome. Look at him. <laughs> All the girls going to be over him. I'm like, hold on, honey. Not too much on my baby now, okay? <laughs> Michaela going to help you? Yeah, that's what it is. She says she she gonna be your helper, and she in eighth grade too, and you in eighth grade, so y'all can help each other. You know, um, she could be your little best friend or something like that. So yeah, we got that done. She said now all we doing now is waiting for a email to come through. She said once the email come through, the email is gonna let me know his start date. So I'm hoping and praying that the email comes through before the end of the week. <laughs> I'll talk to y'all in a minute. Okay, y'all, we made it to the Walmart. We opted in to come to Walmart instead of going to a micro center because the Walmart was just kind of where we are right here in this area. So we're going to come to Walmart. My baby is looking for a Pacific Core to go to his uh, PS5 game. So he Googled uh-huh we ain't been to this walmart in a while so we google to try to find out like um where it is so yeah i'm gonna just let him guide me through this store because him or i haven't been in this walmart in a pretty long time so yeah Cornell, is it in the frame okay like that yeah okay so yeah um I be having to have my baby help me because when I'm not in the stores and not like somewhere where there's a mirror at, I can't never tell if it's still like that or not. So we just going to make sure that it is. So once we find his piece that he needs, it's going to prevent us from walk, uh, driving out there to go to the micro center. So I'm with that because it's kind of hot outside. I don't want to walk to the micro center. Look at these. This had them little Crocs look that that, that young boy had on in that um, training class. Look at these, y'all. Mm -mm. These was like some, it's some Crocs that's made something like this. You see it? So he's looking for one of these cords. Okay. Oh, and they had a 75 one, but there's no more. So he's looking for this cord because the internet at the house is not um, strong enough for him when he's playing the game, baby. And we can't have that because, baby, the baby be upset. His, he needs his stuff to be working the way it needs to work. He don't need anything lagging on him, baby, okay? So this the core here. You want to get the fit. The 50 feet look long though. Yeah, I just get the 50 feet. yeah, the 50 feet look. The 50 feet look like it'll fit. You'll have to just move the um, monitor on the other side. You know that the one that's in the living room, the internet box. Sure, I don't know, but hopefully he'll get it figured out, y'all. He know better than I know. Is that somebody right there working or her? Oh, that's another um, customer. Okay, y'all, so I'm going to let him find what he's looking for up in here, and then I'll come back to you guys. And since we didn't ride on the other side, I don't know if I'm going to end up going to Alta today. I am going to just look in the Walmart since we're up in here. Look at these. They're so cute. Little princesses. Aww. Um, But I am going to look up in the Walmart since I'm here, and I am going to find out if they have the, what is it called? The spot dots, y'all. So that's what I want to look to see if they have those. So I'll come back to you guys and let y'all know. I ain't been in this Walmart in so long. I don't even hardly even know what stuff it's at. But I'll come back to y'all in a minute. A lot of cord, ain't it? Can I see how big, long the 25? Oh, it's a soap that I was looking 
the club, but it's probably in Target. Okay, you guys, so I have been seeing on um, Lily's vlog, and she be using one of these. Oh, when she say it smells so good, y'all. I think this is the one, if I'm not mistaken. Y'all see it? It's called Vanilla Cashmere. Oh, this one smell good. I might have to get this. Oh, I love the way that smell. You wasn't lying, Lily, girl. This smell good. <laughs> Okay, y'all, I'm up in the Dollar Tree and I've been watching um, Life As Told by Tani. And she be going to her local Dollar Tree, y'all. And she said that they have um, them spicy bean patties. It's so nasty. I had got some from um, Trader Joe's before. I did not like them. But I'm looking for the um, egg rolls because Tani said that the Dollar Tree's got egg rolls. But she did say it's kind of like hit or miss. You have to find out what Dollar Tree's have them. Because I, oh, I found them, y'all. Oh, I found them. Let's see. I want to try these. Thank you, Tani. Tani, life, to, life is so bad to me, y'all. She said that the Dollar Tree has the egg rolls. I'm definitely about to get a couple of them. Definitely. Maybe I'm going to get three of them. Test them out because I know my husband going to want to test them out, okay? So... Let's get that. Oh, wee, they got um spring rolls. I don't really be liking the spring rolls though, because I don't like the um shell that the spring rolls come in. It's too thin for me. This little cute little roll of sausage, y'all. <laughs> but the egg rolls they come in shrimp, chicken, and pork. So thank you, Tani. I'm gonna get the chicken. I wish they just had vegetable, but they don't. So yeah, this Dollar Tree definitely did have them. So that's what's up. That's I wonder if I should get your daddy um one of those little um hot pocket things. Oh, what are the burritos that be having? They just the burritos. They oh. all at the bottom. The beef and bean ones. They got all of those. He said he don't think he want none from here. They don't got my cool beans because I would like to eat that. He want the old snap shot. My baby been into eating those uh, pickles lately. You getting those? Hmm. Uh, it's like nothing in it though. <laughs> Come on, let me see. Oh, that's a whole bunch of pickles in there. That's a, that's a whole bunch of pickles. It go all the way to the top. That's how you open up that bag and realize the baby, that bag will be gone. It wouldn't even have a chance. Okay. Yeah, if you don't like them, I will. All right. Um. I think that's all y'all y'all know um i'm gonna go home and try to um straighten up the trap house a little bit oh look at these colors right here they didn't have this color the other day when we came i think we actually went to family dollar ain't that crazy how you can just come up in here and find some little stuff and fix up a place like that's something y'all they do got the little dupes of the stanley cups up in here look at this black one and then this one say three dollars but it doesn't have a straw so is it worth even buying it if it doesn't have a straw like where's the damn straw at what well, can you just take the Nova smell like okay what does it smell like to me they playing around with us ain't they but y'all how different is this usually when you come um to the stores it's always something like bridesmaid or brad you never really see the ones that say like for the groomsmen so if y'all in y'all dollar tree and y'all know anybody that's getting married this will be a nice gift so that your husband can give to his groomsmen this is really nice i've never seen those in the dollar tree before it's always everything for the women so to see that they have the groomsmen little shot you know uh glasses for them to have their little drinks or their little toast these are so freaking cute and they're good quality y'all they heavy too for 125 you can't beat that okay we is in the 125 store 
I've never seen them say groomsmen before, y'all. Like, what? What? God, my prayer is for every woman. Under the sound of my voice, every woman watching online. That you would make her ready to receive your joy. That her life would not be attuned to experiencing doubt. Okay, y'all, so I am trying out the chicken egg rolls. I didn't fry them or anything like that. I put them in the oven. This is the sauce it came with. I bought three of them, so the sauce was um, in each packet and everything like that. I do have them um, over here in the oven. I got them on broil right now. This is what they looking like. Looking pretty good. I'm trying to see if I'm going to be able to get them like crispy a little bit. Like get that little crunch, you know? So that's what I'm trying to wait on, y'all. Okay, y'all, I just cut this one open right here. Look how good that look, y'all. It's the chicken egg roll from the Dollar Tree. Let's taste them in a second. Let me cut the rest of this up, okay? I messed this one up, it's too hot. Burnt my finger. Okay, y'all, I'm about to taste the uh, egg roll. I already tasted on the short, but I want to come out here and show y'all too. It's good, y'all. And I burnt it right here because I put it on broil and walked away. But they good. Mm -hmm. I definitely go back and buy these. I would. <sighs> All right, y'all. I'll come back in a minute. I work tonight. So I'll come back. Wait a minute. Y'all, I am at work tonight at the job that I got hired for y'all. I fucking love it. It's so nasty up in here. I don't want to sit down. I don't want to do anything. I'm so ready to go. It is 5, 12 a.m. in the morning on Wednesday, August the 28th, y'all. I just wanted to come in real quick and let y'all know that I am at work. And, yeah, we'll talk about it in the morning. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the morning. Well, it is morning, but I'll see y'all at 7 o'clock, maybe 7.30, okay? I'm going to come back and let y'all know how the first night is and have it. Mm -mm. Okay, y'all. <laughs> today is. Is today the 28th or the 29th? Hold on. Y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today is Wednesday, the 28th. It is about 7.35 a.m. in the morning. I just got off of work, just got up out the shower and everything, y'all. Let me tell y'all a quick little story time, a little mini story time about this new facility. Y'all know I got hired at this new facility, y'all. Last night was my first night there. Girl, a shit show, a damn shit show. Y'all know it's a psych facility. So already a shit show. They just took a man out of there um the day before yesterday before i worked my shift last night girl because they say he tow out the lights and he tow up the air conditioner in the in the room just like was fighting the residents and everything so he wasn't there last night y'all why was i with um someone that was supposed to orientate me Baby, they should have just gave me an assignment. Baby, you shouldn't even told me that somebody was supposed to be orientated. Because when you go to a new job and you hear orientation, you already know how that's going to be. You're going to be, you know, following and watching and seeing how, you know, how they do everything. They're going to be teaching you, you know what I'm saying? The things, the ins and outs of, you know, the facility, how the residents, you know, operate and everything like that. Baby, my RNT or my whatever that's called when they orientating you, I don't know the right word right now, y'all, because I'm tired. Baby, when I tell you the lady, I didn't see the lady, she gave me a rundown. She said, oh, you're going to have this side and I'm going to have this side. And I was like, dang, I'm in orientation. I'm getting a whole set of people. I said, okay, that don't, that, that's okay because, you know, the game don't change. It's just the residents. You know, you're just learning the patience. So, baby, next thing I know, the lady had left. The lady was gone for a long time. I was sitting on this hall, baby. Mind you, I'm on a lock unit with these behavioral people, psych patients, okay? And you done told me that these people is acting X, Y, and Z. And you're going to leave up off the hall and I'm your orientation person. I said, ooh, baby. So I ain't say nothing, baby. Because you know me. I'm just observing, watching the scene and everything like that. I'm observing and watching the scene, you know. 
Baby, when I tell you the lady came back, I ain't knocking nobody because I smoke with baby. She was reeking of the Mary Jane, honey, okay? So she went, got a wheelchair. One of the residents had one of their wheelchairs in the room, baby. She went and got the wheelchair. Put her feet up on the man's bed, baby, okay? Had her tablet on, baby. I was sitting in the hallway. Do you know she closed the uh, privacy curtain and was asleep? And was asleep! I was like, oh, what the hell? The magic, the place is not the best facility. It's dirty. It gave me creeps. Like, I felt like, yeah, it was like little nets flying around and shit, girl. It was just like a whole thing. So, I knew damn well I wasn't going to sleep. But, yeah, I had, I put my bag up already. I had my little Target bag, my little cloth Target bag on my shoulder with my water, my big water in it, y'all. And I had me some chips in it. Baby, I ain't set my stuff down. I tied it up because they say the people steal. It was a night from hell, y'all. A night from hell. So then she tried to get like jazzy kind of this morning. Like her demeanor had changed or whatever. Because the girl that was working on the top hall, she ended up coming back on that hall asking me, you okay? Because she saw how the girl was never the fuck around. And this particular hallway, you need to have two people on that hall with the third person being between the other double doors, like watching the women or whatever. Girl, the lady, I was on my own. So shit, I, guess what I did? Baby, I got my motherfucking bag and I came across the street, baby, about uh 150. And I stayed in the motherfucking house, baby, until goddamn almost 3 o'clock. And then I went back over there. I went back, baby. Everybody was still asleep. The lady was still in that sleep. The lady on the other hall was asleep. Baby, I said, well, damn, I could have stayed at home for a little bit. <laughs> so you already see how the hell that's finna go. So, girl, we go in there this morning and start to get the people together. I'm sure this is probably, like, me mumbling right now, but I'm trying to remember every little incident because, baby, it was a shit show, a damn shit show. So, this morning, the nursing supervisor came in, and the girl and I who orientated together, we like, yeah, this some BS or whatever. They messy too because the girl that I orientated with she was telling me something about one of the nurses that she knew But another girl was right there. And she overheard the conversation Why did the girl go and tell her the nurse that what the girl said about her girls? I said who the fuck baby this, if y'all don't get this old grandma school middle school ass shit up out of here Baby come on now ain't nobody got time for this this morning We was leaving out she showed the girl the girl sent the whole message to her man Telling her man that the girl is in the damn facility talking about her here I go baby what? I said, yeah, baby, this, I got to just be able to get in here and get my money and go. I don't even think I want to work no double shifts. I know I was talking about working them doubles up in there. But, baby, I just feel like I want to do my night shifts. And that's it. That place gives me the fucking creeps, y'all. Excuse my language, but it gives me the fucking creeps, okay? The fucking creeps it gives me. And I don't even know how long I'm going to be able to last up in there. But God is my protector. Okay? I'm believing in God that he is going to lead me. He provided this for me, so he is going to lead me, baby. Because, honey, that place is nasty. The linen that we were taking to put on the bed and everything, girl, like the linen was not even washed. Then the residents ain't got clothes, and it's this one rack. You pull from the back of the rack to find them damn clothes because they, they families that they ain't got. I say, what the? They ain't got no soap in the place. I say, this place needs to be goddamn non and void at this point, okay? Non and void. But you know what? It is what it is, you guys. I got my laptop charging up. I'm about to watch me some YouTube. I got a video that I'm working on. I was starting to edit my video. I sat there last night and I was editing a video. I ain't take my laptop in there, so I was editing up off my phone last night. So, yeah, I'm about to probably do that until I go to sleep. I got to be back at work tonight at 11 o'clock. So, y'all probably won't see me no more until after I wake up and decide if I'll do something. Then, probably won't be doing anything because my husband is gone to work and he has the car. So, I'm probably going to just be in this house, y'all. So, if I come back to y'all, I come back to y'all. If I don't, don't hold it against me. Please like, comment, and subscribe, okay? Tell your friends, girl, to tell their friends so that we all can be friends. And I'll see you guys in the next clip, okay? Yeah, do y'all see how bright it is up in here? After I shower and talk to y'all, I've been laying here. I watched um my girl Meek Lachey. She had dropped the vlog, so I was able to catch her vlog this morning. I think it said she had dropped it like 21 hours ago. But y'all, I am so sleepy. I'm so sleepy, but it's so bright up in here. I just ate some Doritos and some Boston Baked Beans, y'all. I'm about to probably put this face mask on and just probably try to TKO, y'all, because I'm tired. But why is it so bright in here? <laughs> All right, you guys. I'll talk to you guys in a bit.
y'all so this is the second night that i'm at the new place y'all and doing the orientation y'all why we ain't get orientated again for the second night okay we just been sitting here the time is 6 10 6 6 a.m 6 a.m nobody's orientated us at all y'all and today is thursday the 29th i came to work last night at 11 o'clock it's about to be seven i'm finna get off i didn't sit in this chair let me show y'all this shit I done sat in this chair all night. Do y'all see the chair got plastic on it? Baby, that's because the people say the place got the bed bugs, honey. I, I want the fuck out of here. <laughs> what the fuck out of here? Like, I I can't. Like, I don't even know, like, how many days I'm going to be able to take for this, y'all. As bad as I know I need to be working, I don't know if I'm going to be able to work work it. I ain't even gonna hold you. Me and my girl been right here talking, trying to figure out how we finna get through this because <laughs> we both was in the same orientation class. So we both trying to figure out how we about to get through this, baby. The place is so dirty. Y'all, the place the place is just trifling. We on a women's little lock unit right here, y'all. So it's a door right there and it's a door right there. We locked in between these two fucking doors. <laughs> Girl, like you gotta make you it make sense. Yeah, girl, I don't want nothing touch me, nothing too close, baby. I ain't bring nothing up in here at all. Do you hear me? I went home for like a whole fucking hour, y'all, because I'm I can't. We can, I can't even close my damn eyes. Usually I can sleep on the night shift. I can't even close my eyes, so I don't even know what the heck is going on. But I'm getting ready to get off, y'all. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Okay. Girl, tell your friends to tell their friends so that we all can be friends. And I'll just come back to y'all because this is some foolery, okay? Th this is some foolery. Okay, y'all. So, right here, we went and found us a little spot to, like, dip off in. Because why it was morning and then here come everybody waking up talking about, come on, let's get the people up. What? What people? Yeah. Okay, you guys. I have made it home from work. It is Thursday, August the 29th, 7.33 in the morning, you guys. I'm going to get ready to, um have my little morning wake and bake and then i'm gonna lay down because i ain't gonna wake at all i'm just gonna bake and go lay down okay so it is a new day you guys um i just got off of work i work tonight um <clears throat> i'm pretty tired i need to like get a nap in or something like that so i'm definitely gonna get a nap in my husband was off today he called me i missed his call but i do remember now that he did tell me he was gonna go in to work for a few hours today so he's not here right now i thought i was about to come home and cuddle but <laughs> no ma'am i guess i'll cuddle later so i'll talk to you guys um in the next clip or in the next um vlog or something i edited two vlogs last night while i was at work you guys so i'm on the laptop now because that's actually what i need to go in here and do right now because one of the videos is saying copyright y'all see that birthday vlog dropping today at seven o'clock seven o'clock on that dot it's gonna drop today on the, on the um which one okay so this one is saying it got copyright this is the one i was working on yesterday oh my god what's the copyright i bet you i know what song it is too i used a new song yep i knew it was gonna be that one i used a new one and that's exactly what it is Mm, mm, mm. All right, y'all. Let me fix this, and then I'll come back to y'all later on. Video. Welcome back to my channel, y'all. Oh my God, I am at this day and job for the third day of orientation, y'all. This is not no orientation at all. Today is well. I came in last night, Thursday, the 29th. Right now, it's 2:07 a.m. on Friday. August the 30th, y'all. Um, but I came into work last night on the 29th at 11 o'clock. Y'all, this place, I don't know how long I'm going to even last at this place. Everybody gone, y'all. They taking breaks. <laughs> Doing what they want to do. Doing what they want to do. Okay? Ain't, ain't nobody watching the flow. Ain't nobody watching the homes, baby. They out doing what they want to do. Today is day three. I've never been on an orientation like this before. This is crazy. But anywho, y'all, I'll come back to y'all and let y'all know how my day went in the morning, okay? I just wanted to kind of jump on the vlog real quick because I haven't been on since yesterday. So I'll talk to y'all later. Cause you don't